Donnie? Hello. Donnie? Oh, he made it. Excellent. Donnie, are you there? No like that. Donnie is here. Donnie's here. Excellent. Wait. Thank you. Fantastic. You Donnie, right this is Evan. How are you, buddy? Uh, I've been better. Well, it's uh, good to have you, that's for sure. Here's, I'm gonna, trying to find a light in this room here. <laughs> the man well, is Donnie, the art. Donnie, just so you know, this is Rick. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Basically, I, I previewed a little before you got on that you were trying to connect. I did yep. mention um, that people can go to Screen the News and even Google you on your on your own. Um, you know, just saying, typing in human cloning on Google with Donald Marshall, and they'll be able to find you. I also let people know that uh, Selena Carroll provided that forum page where people can intensively research what you've gone through. Uh, so I'm glad you're able to join us tonight. Thank you for being here. No problem. Uh, Thanks for having me. Yeah, and Evan's on along with us, and we're, we're all curious, I'm sure our listeners, uh, we're talking about human cloning. So what does that really mean? Can you kind of just give us a background of where you're coming from and what your situation is? I can. I'll try to be as comprehensive as I can. Like, I'm not a professional speaker or anything. I'm not, I don't have a script or anything prepared or anything, but I'll just basically rat on the Illuminati here. Um, okay, when I was five years old, opened up my eyes and somehow I was in this place. It's a, It's got hockey boards all around. It's a small sports venue. It's got dirt in the center. Now, what they do, it's a this specific kind of cloning, it's not from a baby and grown from a baby. It's, uh, that's replication cloning. This is duplication cloning. They can make fully formed duplicates of you, and the way that they transfer your consciousness into it, I'm not even exactly sure how they do it, because I'm pretty sure there's a way to block it, and they just don't want to let me in on it. Um, they, uh, they, they get you when you're in REM sleep, they, but only when you're in full REM sleep. If you have a clone there, they can press a button and transfer your consciousness into your clone. You will ha not have a dream. You'll just go there and you'll be walking around a little bit stupefied, but uh, you'll be walking around communicating. This is how the Illuminati communicates. It's, I guess they told me it started in 1945, um, 44 or 45. Uh, they only had Does politicians... Does that have anything to do with World War II, Donnie? I'm not sure. Like, they don't tell me everything. Like, they told me a lot, but... Uh, they don't tell me the nitty gritty on everything. Uh, well, how it happened, how they got all the celebrities and stuff involved, uh, it was all politicians at first. And it was just communication, a government world communication zone. And uh, then they started getting bored. So they started bringing, you know, Marilyn Monroe and all these uh, celebrities and stuff. And they thought it was all cool. Hey, temporary bodies, we can do whatever we want. And uh, then the politicians started showing off. The uh, celebrities started showing off, and it got more and depraved and depraved, and then they realized, hey, we can bring people here and have the memory repressed. We can bring anybody here and do whatever we want with them and send them back, and they won't be any the wiser. And uh, so they started doing that with any pretty people they could find, and, you know, there's no way to get caught, so they're just, you know, having fun. And it got worse and worse and worse. Then they started doing this thing called uh, the sell your soul thing. All the celebrities saying they sell their soul to the devil. They're not selling their soul to the devil. They're selling their clone to the Illuminati to be used as a sex slave at night. Now, the problem is... So when they're you get fully a aware, then, even when they're awake, that, that they have clones like you are. Oh, yes, they are very aware. Uh, okay. They, uh, well, let's see. They, uh, they're pretty excited at first. They go there. They're not famous. They don't have money. And they're like, oh, wow, I'm going to get famous. Okay, just use me a little bit, no problem. They don't realize that it's a contract for the rest of your life. Like, uh, the rest of your life. You don't just get famous for, and then uh, they, okay, have a good life. They keep you. Also, if you ever have any children, they're included in the contract. You have to induct your children into the thing. Now, um... Uh, well, Donnie, can I ask you right there? Uh, yep. when, if they're including your children... Um, it, do you, are there celebrities, are there politicians, are there people that kind of just haphazardly find themselves there where if you're going to include my kid and I want to get out, have you noticed any certain type of, uh, I guess, just human being, whether celebrity or not, where that line is drawn, then, then where, where, where can they go from there? Um, well, there, it's a pretty, how can I explain it? It's a... 
it's a pretty big penalty for going against them. Like a couple other people have already, and they, they were killed. And uh, they were killed in real bad ways. Like specifically, uh, Bernie Mac, Chris Benoit, the ex-wrestler, and uh, uh, who was the other guy? The one that off. Oh, Whitney Houston. They offed her too because she said she didn't want to uh, attend anymore. She, and she made like a big stand. She thought that they were going to cave. Uh, she's out in the center of dirt, and they're like threatening her. We're, we'll kill you. We'll kill you. And she's like, I don't care. You won't kill me. She thinks that she's like a uh, Tila Tequila. She can threaten and threaten, and they won't do anything. But they made her have Donald, anger. I have a question. Uh, you keep saying them and they, and, uh, you know, you and I, uh, we've, we've kind of become friends, and we've discussed a few things. Yep. And you've, uh, you know, you've told me that, uh, you know, you have information that the, that the state of the world rests on. What yep. is it, what is it, who is it or what is it that we should be afraid of at night? What are these creatures called? What are their names? Okay, these creatures are called the Vril, a.k.a. the Anunnaki, a.k.a. the Pleiadians. They have all kinds of names throughout the centuries. Different cultures have named them different things. They come from underground. They are not from space. They come from underground. They've been around since before cavemen. Um, there's there's paintings on cave walls. Did they evolve or did they, I mean, you said they came, did you, did you just say they came from space? No, I said they, they don't come from space. They're from okay. underground. Um, so did they evolve, or, or were they, I mean, how, do you, do you know oh, yeah. how they were created, or well, I'm not oh, sure evolution? of their origins, but uh, I'm not sure of their origins, but they are the highly evolved lizard species. They're uh, reptilian. They actually have said that the stupid things can talk, and they're stupid, okay? They have said that they're not actually lizard. They're saurian, as in dinosaurian. They said that they, uh, okay. they lived past the uh, cataclysm that killed the dinosaurs because they were so far underground. Anyway, different uh, religious cultures and sects and stuff started uh, interacting with them. China was big into them. Um, Israel was big into them. They're, they're, they're underground in like different regions all around the world and there's even different factions of Vril. That's their name, the Vril. That's, uh, that's the common name they all call themselves, Vril. There's three now, I've heard the name Vril before, Donnie, um, and it had to do with the Vril Occult Society uh, along with the Thule Society that backed up Hitler. And yep. um, they, had a, they had a very similar, um, they, well, they, they told sort of a similar story about uh, these supernatural creatures that lived underground, and Vril was the energy that they fed yep. off of, but it was still deep, deep underground. Um, is this related in any way? Or is it just well, this, the real sort of um, passing on their story, um, but but masking it in a way? It's uh, the real power was abandoned technology left behind by an Atlantean by the Atlantean civilization, and the Atlanteans used to call themselves the Thule, uh, the like. T-H-U-L-E, but pronounced T-O-O-L-I-E. That's what Atlantis was called. Um, anyway, they wiped, they got wiped out. Uh, nobody really talked about how that happened, but uh, they hinted that uh, the Vril tried to drone all these people. Now, what droning is, okay, these lizards have a unique biological property of their bodies. This is what people talk about with the shapeshift, okay? There's no twisting, morphing, the scales come out of the skin and the eyes turn into slits and stuff. That's a myth. That's, and they promote that to throw people off of the scent, right? What they do, right. they have this thing, this thing on their head. It's, a, it's like an ejectable brain and spinal column. Now, the smaller ones, they use smaller ones to get humans this way. They parasite a human's brain. Now, this this top cap thing on the top of their head comes out. They can do this once in their life, and uh, it just wiggles out, and uh, it pulls their spinal column along with it, and uh, they have to have assistance, like the human would have to be restrained or unconscious. And this, uh, they call it the, the quill. It's a proboscis that comes out of the top of the lizard's head, and uh, it goes into the eye, it spirals around the optic nerve until it gets to a specific part of the brain, and then it does something called sweating. Now, the okay. sweating, it, the sweating part, uh, the the juice that's in the spinal cord gets excreted out of the tip of this thing, and uh, it's their parasitic cells. 
Now the parasitic cells go into the brain and they just take over and dominate totally. Um, just that. And Donnie, hey, uh, when, you're, when you're talking about this sort of like a paralysis of the brain, does that allude back to dead consciousness? Because you, you mentioned that before. Uh, what is dead consciousness? Just and what is the soul stone chip? What does that have to do with it? Okay, I'm getting to that. I just had to talk to my buddy here. I'm at a buddy's house. Um, okay, a bunch of uh, billionaires and millionaires got together a long time ago. They said, I can, uh, I can cause wars, I can kill people, I can uh, bring down monarchies even. Um, one thing I can't do, I can't present, prevent myself from dying. And uh, so they all got together, said, let's put a bunch of Chinese people on it and uh, we'll figure out well, something with cloning, right? Well, they figured it out. And uh, this soul stone chip thing, uh, they said it's like the best technology that they have. Like, uh, people live on this way, but it's very, very flawed. What happens, they record a flawed recording of someone's consciousness, all that you are, into an apple seed sized microchip. It used to be big as a circuit board, but they reduced the size over years, and now they have it at the size of an apple seed. They, uh, they can drill a hole in a person's head or pull the person's eyeball out and insert it with a rod, just push it right in and to a certain depth of the brain, and then they turn it on. The person's like, well, it's like body snatching a person with a lizard, but with technology. And these people live on this way. They, uh, it messes the person up for like a month or something where they can only sleep and get up and eat. They have to have a nurse with them. After that, when they come back as a deadhead, they come back basically different. It's kind of like Pet Cemetery, but not extreme. Like, uh, some of them come back, they're just about all, always bisexual. For some reason, uh -huh. they turn child, they turn child monster for some reason. And uh, sometimes they, well, they go with their first Is that why we're seeing uh, an increase in pedophilia? Uh, cases and things like that over the years. Well, the thing and is, that, and we're obviously seeing an increase in politics too. I mean, look at uh, everything that's happening in Great Britain. Um, it's it's you know, rumors and and confirmed cases. Uh, it's just running rampant right now. Is, is this a reason why these duplicates? 